The Duke of Sussex will today invoke his newfound clarity as a father to support a national crusade to recruit an army of mentors to help trouble young people in memory of his mother. Prince Harry has found that welcoming his eight-week-old son Archie into the world has given him a new sense of his responsibility as a role model. In a speech at the UK's first National Youth Mentoring Summit, Harry will call for a drive to get volunteers to come forward after the Daily Express launched a joint campaign with the Diana Award to put 500 mentors in place to help change the lives of 2,000 young people over the next three years. The newspaper and the charity, which was created as part of Britain's official response to the death of Diana in a 1997 Paris car crash, aimed to raise £2.4 million from readers and corporate donors to run the mentoring scheme. The scheme will be showcased at the summit, run by the Diana Award, which exists to fulfill the late princess's belief in the power of young people to change the world. In his speech this afternoon, Harry, 34, will say, I'm struck by a few things today, most of which is the power of the invisible role model. The person who may be sitting here today that doesn't realize that someone looks up to them, that for that person, you inspire them to be kinder, better, greater, more successful, more impactful. Perhaps it's the newfound clarity I have as a father knowing that my son will always be watching what I do, mimicking that behavior, one day maybe even following in my footsteps. But it's not just my role as a father that shows me that. It's in the people I see every day that don't realize how inspirational they are to those watching. From small acts of kindness, to large measures of character, each move that we make matters, especially when we don't think anyone is watching. That is when our true character comes to light. Being a role model can help heal the wounds of your own past and create a better future for someone else. As proven by today's inspirational youth, and many of the stories we've heard this afternoon, the impact of a mentor has the power to make society richer, happier, kinder and more aligned. At the summit at Banking Hall in the City of London today, supporters will hear how it costs £1,200 a year to put one young person through a structured and comprehensive mentoring program. The campaign has already received cross-party political support and the backing of prominent business leaders anxious to help thousands of vulnerable young people, left deprived of the same life opportunities as those from wealthier, more settled backgrounds. London's mayor, Sadiq Khan, said, A huge number of young people across our city have turned their lives around thanks to the positive impact of role models in our communities. Mentors can have a lifetime impact on a young person and that is why I fully support the Diana Award and Daily Express campaign that seeks to raise awareness and raise funds for a national youth mentoring program. In London, we are investing £45 million to provide positive opportunities for young people, including providing mentors and youth workers, but we need more in our city and across the country to ensure we have positive role models. The Confederation of British Industry, which speaks for 190,000 firms, urged employers to give staff the chance to volunteer as role models. John Cope, the B's head of education and skills, said, business has an essential role, working with organizations like the Diana Award, to offer mentoring opportunities that help make sure every young person, regardless of background, has the best start to their career. Some of Britain's top entrepreneurs also backed the appeal. Sir Richard Branson, founder of the Virgin Group, said, said, sadly too many young people grow up without a positive role model in their lives, we need to find ways to ensure they not only survive but thrive in life. I've long spoken about the critical difference a mentor makes in helping someone discover their strengths, make decisions and understand what they want to achieve. The Diana Award mentoring program could change the future of thousands of young people in the UK. Tech giant Facebook also showed its support. Nicola Mendelssohn, Vice President for Europe, Middle East and Africa, said, a good mentor is incredibly important. She recalled advice from Stevie Spring, Chair of Children in Need, when she took her first step into senior management, if you're in a leadership position, remember to think about what cues your body language is saying. You need to behave like a leader even when you think people aren't watching. Miss Mendelssohn added, her second piece of advice was when it all gets a bit much, you can't whistle and cry at the same time. 
I often think about what Stevie told me and I hope the Diana Award and the Daily Express mentoring campaign will help connect young people with inspiring role models who can give the same sorts of advice Stevie gave me.